All right, I hope you guys are doing really well tonight. I wanted to make a video of a practice exercise uh, that I used to do a long time ago when I was first uh, getting into welding. And I haven't, I haven't seen it and I've kind of looked for it. Nobody's really touched on it. So I wanted to put this out there um, just to give you guys another angle of being able to practice and just kind of really um, kind of sharpen your fine motor skills when it comes to manipulating your puddle um, in situations where you might be fighting gravity or there's a bad fit up or you are um, just trying to break into welding pipe with an open route. And so let me get you guys turned around here and I'll take it a little bit further. All right, so I'm gonna be using the titanium stick, running it off 110 volts. Um, and then I'll show you what I have over here. So basically what I have is I have a setup like this, you know, everybody does their coupons and stuff like that. So what I have is kind of a coupon type situation where it, it exaggerates a bad fit up or an open route. And so typically what you do is you wanna start off at the bottom here where it's narrow and just kind of get going and slowly work your way up to the top. And what this does is it gives you, um, it just it helps you in a controlled environment um, just managing your puddle. So I have a piece set up here that I've, I've been kind of working on passively. Um, and so I, I was just messing around with it and I thought I'd like to bring you guys along. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys in the stand and just see if I could give you a couple of different angles on it. Um, anyways, let me get you guys going here and we'll light up, sit tight. All right, sorry, I had to get my gloves on here. So I'm right around 50 amps. So let me get a rod and show you kind of how I was doing things here. All right, this is really kind of warm, so I'm gonna be trying to be really careful. So as you can see here, once you get going on it, you get kind of a, a nice exaggerated keyhole. And I like that because what happens is when you have it going like that it gives you room to work and really see and feel what's going on so what i do is i just kind of this is my rod here and i just kind of build up the sides build up the sides build up the throat come back around to the other side build it up and just kind of work my way around just kind of chew up a little bit of the edges and just kind of scoop it and lay it down scoop it and lay it down and what you want to do is just kind of get be relaxed when you do this sorry my there we go um and just kind of just make yourself comfortable and just kind of get set up and just you know put in your earbuds and just kind of work your way up and what i would do is i would put together like you know three or four of these and dedicate some time to really um you know dedicated time to practice um anyway so let me get you guys in a different position here and we'll light up all right, I hope my, my camera position works for you guys and I hope it makes sense. And I, 
I'm running this just a little bit on the cool side because the way gravity works here is it wants to pull my puddle through and that's that's a really you know it just makes for really good practice it's almost like if you have a kid and um it's like if you know you you take their crayons and you break their crayons in half so it forces them to focus on their fine motor skills so here we go also this is just to give you an idea of what it should look like and feel like and sound like even though you're watching this on a film All right, it's still kind of glowing there. Um, so that's that's how it should look. Let me see if I could hit it with a wire brush really quick. Sorry about my camera work again. nice sorry about my finger over the camera there i know that's that's awesome um anyway so that's how it should look and you just work your way up and what you do this exercise a few times and then try it with a good fit up and you will be amazed how this is it's like you know kind of this this whole concept of training wheels for welding anyways i hope this is helpful there's um you know more of this to come all right, you guys, thanks again. I hope this is, you know, remotely helpful in some degree. Um, as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Be blessed. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks again. Peace out.